Attention all Dallas Cowboys enthusiasts. If you live and breathe everything about the Dallas Cowboys and crave being the first to know every breaking news story about our cherished team, then subscribing to our channel is an absolute necessity. Your unwavering support is the lifeblood of our commitment to delivering the most current updates straight from the heart of the action in Dallas. Before we dive into the latest happenings, be sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications. Your subscription plays a pivotal role in helping us achieve our target of 4,000 dedicated subscribers. The news of Leighton Van Der Esch being lost for the season with a neck injury in Week 5 hit the Dallas Cowboys hard. The team, already facing questions about depth at the linebacker position, now turns to Luke Gifford and the newly elevated Jabril Cox. However, the spotlight is on Jake Evans, who is ready to answer the call. Evans, signed to the practice squad, has been elevated three times, playing 49% of the defensive snaps and making a notable impact. A former first-round pick, Evans understands the pressure and the expectations. Defensive coordinator Dan Quinn looks set to call on Evans more frequently, and the linebacker is eager to seize the opportunity. The Cowboys' offense, under the guidance of Mike McCarthy, is approaching juggernaut status. After some initial challenges, McCarthy emerged from the bye week with significant adjustments to the Texas Coast offense. Over the last three weeks, the Cowboys have averaged an impressive 478 yards per game, scoring touchdowns on 41.2% of their drives. Dak Prescott, gaining more trust each week, has been a key factor. McCarthy has leaned on Prescott, with a 62.7% early down pass rate, showcasing the quarterback's ability to deliver. The use of pre-snap motion has become a regular feature, making things easier for Prescott and the entire offense. Additionally, the ground game has seen improvement, averaging 4.62 yards per carry since the bye. McCarthy's offensive strategies were on full display against the Giants, with Brandon Cooks getting more involved. The star receiver, along with C.D. Lamb, showcased the versatility of the Cowboys' offense. As McCarthy continues to fine-tune his play calling, the Cowboys are becoming a formidable force. Subscribe in our channel. Your subscription is very important for us. Help us to grow up and reach our goal of 4,000 subscribers. In the realm of quarterback rumors, the focus shifts to Kirk Cousins. With his season in Minnesota overdue to injury, speculation arises about his future as a 2024 free agent. ESPN insiders Dan Graziano and Jeremy Fowler have thrown the Atlanta Falcons into the mix. Fowler claims that Atlanta comes up often in discussions about Cousins. The Falcons, with an improved roster, could provide Cousins with a talented group of playmakers akin to what he had in Minnesota. However, Fowler acknowledges that this is speculative, with teams being asked for opinions about a situation that won't unfold until 2024. The idea of Cousins in Atlanta raises questions about the team's current starter, Desmond Ritter. It would mean a reliance on Cousins, who turns 36 in August, and a potentially hefty contract. While Atlanta has cap space, the decision to pursue Cousins is complex and dependent on various factors, including the performance of newly signed Josh Dose. As the rumor mill churns, Falcon fans are left to debate the potential impact of Kirk Cousins on their playoff contention. What are your thoughts on the Kirk Cousins situation? Leave your opinion in the comments. That wraps up our Cowboys news segment for today. From Jake Evans stepping up to Mike McCarthy's offensive brilliance and the Kirk Cousins rumor, there's never a dull moment in Cowboys Nation. Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button. While much attention is rightfully on the explosive offense, the resilience of the Cowboys defense should not be overlooked. Despite the challenges, especially losing key players like Leighton Van Der Esch, the defense has shown grit and determination. Micah Parsons, the versatile rookie, has been a standout player, filling multiple roles and making impactful plays. Defensive coordinator Dan Quinn's ability to adapt and make the most of the available talent has been commendable. 
As the Cowboys navigate the remainder of the season, the defense will play a crucial role in the team's success. Additionally, the secondary, led by standout cornerback Trayvon Diggs, has been making significant strides. Diggs, with his ball hawking skills, has become a game changer, recording interceptions at a remarkable rate. The synergy between the front seven and the secondary has contributed to the defense's overall effectiveness. As the NFL trade deadline approaches, speculation around potential moves intensifies. The Cowboys, with a strong roster, might look to address specific needs to bolster their playoff push. Areas such as the defensive line or secondary could be areas of interest. Rumors have circulated about possible trade targets, with teams looking to offload players for draft capital. The Cowboys, with a balance of young talent and seasoned veterans, have the flexibility to explore strategic trades that could elevate their performance in critical areas. While the trade deadline always brings a sense of anticipation, it remains to be seen whether the Cowboys will make any significant moves. Fans eagerly await updates on potential trades that could shape the team's trajectory in the latter part of the season. That concludes this edition of Cowboys News. From the resilience of the defense to the NFC East landscape and trade deadline speculation, there's plenty to keep Cowboys fans engaged. Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and join us as we continue to provide in-depth coverage of the Dallas Cowboys journey through the 2023 season. Subscribe in our channel. Your subscription is very important for us. Help us to grow up and reach our goal of 4,000 subscribers. The Dallas Cowboys have been on a tear, winning their last two games with a commanding combined score of 82 to 27. However, there is no time for complacency as they gear up to face another division opponent, the Washington Commanders, after a short week of preparation. In their latest victory, the Cowboys took down the Carolina Panthers 33-10, extending a challenging stretch for Bryce Young and his team in Charlotte. Head coach Mike McCarthy, known for his focused approach, wasted no time in turning his attention to the upcoming matchup against Washington. A lot of good to come out of this, and frankly, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on it, McCarthy stated in post-game media availability. We'll be watching Washington on the way home. Sorry, I'm not here to go ticky-tack with you on stats today. I apologize because my mind's already on to the next one. I feel like we came here and did what we needed to do. McCarthy's comments reflect the championship mindset ingrained in the Cowboys culture. While acknowledging the positive aspects of the recent victories, he emphasizes the importance of looking ahead. The focus is now squarely on the Washington Commanders, a key divisional opponent. The Cowboys quarterback, Dak Prescott, and the rest of the team are fully aware of the challenges that lie ahead. The upcoming game against Washington is crucial, especially with the Thanksgiving Day matchup in Arlington. The Cowboys aim to capitalize on every opportunity to gain ground in the competitive NFC East race. If the Philadelphia Eagles stumble in their Monday night football game against the Kansas City Chiefs, the Cowboys could further solidify their position in the division. However, McCarthy and his team remain focused on what they can control, their performance on the field. For now, the spotlight is on Washington, with the first matchup of the season set to take place at AT&T Stadium on Thursday at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. The game will be televised on CBS, and Cowboys fans are eager to see their team continue the positive momentum and secure another crucial win. Subscribe in our channel. Your subscription is very important for us. Help us to grow up and reach our goal of 4,000 subscribers.